There comes the hazards part. You never who know who's zooming around the corner, huh? Need to get those big mirrors. Yeah. <laughs> The police are out, racing around. Ground Cherokee 2863 Mike on the east ramp with Yankee and we're requesting 19 left. Mobile 6 1 cross 1 left. 6 1 cross 1 left. Cherokee 2863 Mike, contact ground. Verify uh, you're just requesting 19 left. What did he say? A verify you want 19 left. That's affirmative if available. Mike Roger, I one on our left. Taxi via taxiway Bravo Alpha, cross runway 32 right, and just verify information. Yankees current 12106, south near 3018. That's correct, and uh, I have, we're taxiing to 19 left via Bravo and Alpha, cleared across 32 right, 63 Mike. Yep, I yep. Lost. Yeah, yeah, you're clear. All right, right here. here. Looking good. All right. Police. I like the police. Do you know Sting? He used to be with the police. I like Sting. <laughs> Cheech, bad Cheech and Chong's joke. I um, was telling some people we should get enough cops in my department that play instruments and we could have a band called the police. Like, comma, no, really. <laughs> yeah. I like the way it sounds when it rolls over that pavement. There's a windsock. Doesn't look like too much. The alpha. Clear to cross three two right. Clear right. Clear right. Clear left. Recruits are out. Impressionable young people. Yeah, at least it's a nice day for them. When I was out here, it was like 115 degrees on that tarmac, and we were running back and forth. Horrible. I felt like we were going to die. <laughs> High density altitude. What not left? Okay, brake set. Flight controls. Free. Beta trim set for takeoff. Let's see. Test. Primer is in unlocked. Fuel pump is on. Oh, you got these lights too. Yeah. yeah. I never see one of them if it went on, probably because they're so damn dim. But yeah. Ain't like a strobe light. <laughs> Primers in and lock fuel pumps on. Mixture will set full rich. Throttle 2000. Magnetos, two left. Two right. One left. One right. Carb heat. Flight drop. Alpha ground, seven zero six three three ten go alpha. Hard to see. Very much. Very sexy. We've got. Ten meter is charging. Alpha contact ground from a one on a right. Fuel pressure is good. Oil pressure is good. We'll turn the fuel pump off. Make sure everything is. It's a runway one now, right? Yeah. Alpha. Alpha. Close runway three to left. Approach. Close runway three to right. Three ten go alpha. Oh, the 
shit up. Oh, good. Cherokee 2863 Mike at 19 left requesting a left at downwind departure. Cherokee 2863 Mike, Concord Tower, 19 left, clear for takeoff, you'll have downwind departure is approved. Roger, clear for takeoff, 19 left, 63 Mike. Uh, clear on the right. Okay. Clear brakes, turn the fuel pump back on. And make sure this is checked again. This I just put 050 because it's about that to uh, Rio Vista. If you were to fly the VOR out, Or you go up the river. Nice camera action. All in the green, airspeed's alive. Look at for was it 65? Yeah, 55 to 65. I like 65. Rather have more speed than not enough. And rotating. Seven hundred, I'm gonna turn left. Clear left. Cloud heights were what? 6,000 broken. Okay, so we can go up to 3,000, fine. I look a little lower than six thousand. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna turn a little to the right. Those don't look too far above us. Maybe 3,000. 
3,000 or 3,500? I don't know. Let's level off here at 25. That one's a lot closer than me now. Yeah. Can we go down a little bit or? No, this is fine. We could chase clouds. Want me to go uh, put the foggles on that we can get as much time as possible? Oh, sure. Tricky 6 3 Mike, your frequency change is approved. Frequency change approved 6 3 Mike, good day. No, wait a second. Uh, tower six three, uh, tower six three, Mike. Radio check. Turkey six three, Mike. Loud and clear. Yeah, it looks like your top's about three thousand or thirty five hundred somewhere in there. Thank you. Just let them know. Sometimes they'll ask somebody for that. Seven whiskey, Travis approach. Travis altimeter is three zero one six. Three zero one six eight three eight zero three seven whiskey. You want to get the aircraft Echo, for a second? Uh, I got the aircraft. Three miles north altitude indicates 2,500. Looking a Blake Echo. Hey, somebody's at 2,500. Alrighty, I'm fogged up. Let me contact them. I have the aircraft? Uh, you have the aircraft for sure. Travis, approach Cherokee 2863 Mike. Request. Cherokee 2863 Mike, Travis Approach, Travis altimeters 3016, Identity Destination. 63 Mike, we'll be headed over to Rio Vista for some maneuvers and touch and goes. 63 Mike. Remember, 63 Mike, radar contact, 5 miles northeast of Concord VOR, Swalk 5227. Traffic's 11 o'clock, 3 miles maneuvering, Skyhawk 4000. We looking, 63 Mike. 11 o'clock, 4000, uh, big deal. Stock 8 Mike Echo, traffic's uh, south 3 miles north eastbound. Cherokee 2500 uh, will be beginning his descent here momentarily for uh, Rio Vista Airport. Hey Mike Echo. So what heading do you want me? Uh, uh whatever you, you got there. Uh, oh, seven, I'm five. at 50 right now, zero five zero. I just put the weather and common traffic advisory frequency or real vista there for later. They're right on it. There you go. Travis approach, one point four, Papa Julia. Oh, zero five, five, zero five. If I turned uh, southeast, there's an opening I can try to get up uh, above uh, all this cloud deck. We're one three four, Papa Julia. Resume on navigation. Resume on nav. One three four, Papa Julia. Thank you. Sacramento is 15-2, and uh, let's see, the 009 inbound. Do you want me to intercept that VR? Oh, sure. That'll give you a little practice. Uh, Supposedly, when they, well, it's probably not that accurate. Because it's almost on a direct line. But I guess if we drew a map on Manteca or something, it would be more 90-degree intercept. It looks like it's pretty much... Number 134, uh, Papa Juliet, traffic's uh, 10 to 9 o'clock, 5 miles southwest on heavy deep in uh, 1,300. Right? Yeah, the from the Travis okay. Delta. Of course, we identified you it. You said that traffic is westbound, 134, Papa Juliet? 134, Papa Juliet, that traffic's uh, southwestbound at this time, climbing out of 1,500 for 1,600. No, we identify the... Papa Juliet, fuck it. Uh, we're so low, we probably can't pick up the 15.2 uh, uh, on the Sacramento. It's ways away, but it is saying two, so. Sky 
Okay, my Geico, maintain above 3,000 for uh, a Cherokee just sitting out of 2,500 for Rio Vista. Uh, maintain above 3,000 in Michael. Or six three Mike traffic so eleven to twelve o'clock three miles maneuvering Skyhawk maintaining out above three thousand six three Mike Roger will be looking number eight zero three seven whiskey contact NorCal approach one two zero point nine or good day NorCal approach at one two zero point nine or eight zero three seven whiskey number uh, two eight six three Mike Rider service to Squawk VFR change to advisory frequency approved good day Roger six three Mike. Oh, you got rid of us pretty quick. Yeah. Okay. We need to go back to that VR. Or stay in. Oh, yeah. A little bit left, we'll get to, over to Rio Vista. Number 134, Papa Julia, traffic no factor. We could do so, a few landings uh -huh. over there, and then we can, uh, maybe when we leave, we can do, see if they'll get us a VOR. Approach into vectors for VOR approach. Go something realistic. Traffic no factor, sir. That'll give you instrument time. Traffic no factor for 134 Pop Juliet. Copy. This gets less sensitive the farther away you go from it. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say it's kind of flopping around a little bit. And we'll switch over to Rio Vista, which is 122.725. Well, I got it down here in the side, oh, just in case you want it. And we'll go back to 119.7 here then. Relative humidity 57%. Density altitude missing. Condensation altitude for 200 feet. Rio Vista automated weather observation at 2015 Zulu. Visibility missing. Altimeter 3018. Weather advisories. Wind calm. Ceiling broken at 3500. Temperature 19 or degrees Celsius. Dew point 11 degrees Celsius. Relative humidity 57%. Density altitude missing. Condensation altitude for 200 feet. Re Rio Vista traffic, Cessna 558, turning right downwind, runway 25, Rio Vista. How far south are we? Oh, you can take them off the right over yeah. there. Hey, there's the winds. Smoke's going straight yeah, up. Yeah. Kind of. Or very light. There's Rio Vista. You see it's just a little bit off. Uh, so, what are we, two miles to south? Yeah, about two, three miles south, I would guess. Do we want to do three, three? Uh, or two, five? We can start on two, five, because somebody's on two, five right now. Okay. Uh, Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 2863, Mike. Two miles to the south, to make a left, uh, or we're on the left downwind for 2-5 Rio Vista. Rio Vista traffic, Cessna 558 on right downwind for runway 2-5 Rio Vista. Yeah, I would fly over it and then do the right downwind. Okay, so go over midfield? Yeah, I'm okay. just trying to set you up for what uh, the FAA would want you to do as opposed to do out this way, unless he tells you to go left downwind. Okay. Because it's mostly due to, that right down is due to noise abatement, more than likely. Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 2863 Mike, be uh, doing a midfield flyover from the south, about two miles south of the airport now, Rio Vista. Rio Vista traffic, Cessna 558 turning right base, runway 25, Rio Vista. I see him. Oh yeah, way down over there. No problem. I have you in sight, 6 Mike. Thank you, sir. You must know you're police because he called you sir. My presence demands respect.
Would you take care of my these eight parking tickets I have? <laughs> Christy was laughing because we were walking in downtown Memphis on vacation, and some some dude uh, saluted me as we were uh, as we were walking down the street. And she's like, "Damn!" <laughs> but he knows what's up. <laughs> over midfield and then join the traffic pattern yeah 2000 that way you're above anybody at 1500 feet and uh, above naturally 1000 foot just to be safe I power down to 2000 so you descend most of them are a thousand foot pattern or 800 foot pattern but uh, you just never know yeah shellville's 800 foot pattern san carlos is 800 foot pattern and should we loop to the left yeah and then okay. go downwind uh, I so when you said top 3,000, does that mean the top of the clouds or the beginning of the uh, clouds? The base was 3,500. Okay. But it was really weird. It was saying that on AWOS there, they were me automatic measuring 3,500. But then it said uh, um, relative humidity, uh, or what is it, uh, not density altitude, the other one. Uh, pressure altitude? Uh, what was that? Uh. Weather advisories. 1360 at 3 knots. Ceiling broken at 3500. 3500. Temperature 19 degrees Celsius. 2.11 degrees Celsius. Relative humidity 56%. Density altitude missing. Condensation altitude for 500 feet. Condensation altitude 4,500 feet. What does that mean? It's raining at 4,500 feet, or they measure water at 4,500 feet? I don't know. But they're saying that the ceiling's uh, 3,500 broken. <laughs> so I don't know. Revista traffic Cherokee 2863 Mike joining the downwind on a 45 for 25 Revista. He must have stopped and taxi back or oh he's taxiing maybe for fuel. Oh he's taxiing back. We can go to we can land and then full stop and then taxi to 33 okay. and do a It looks like he's taxiing back to 2-5. Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 6-3, Mike downwind, 2-5, Rio Vista. Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike, base 25, Rio Vista. Oh, he's in the run up. Must be checking something out. Better be shut down and changing pilots. Changing seats.
Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 63, Mike Final 25, Rio Vista. Three six zero at three. At least that's what they were. The latest. Not, not much wind. Plenty of speed, little sinker there. Here to two five or three three. Yeah. The next taxi one. Next taxi will take you to three three, I believe. Vista traffic 63 Mike clear 25 on Bravo taxi to 33 Ray Vista. Ray Vista traffic Cessna 558 taking runway 25 for right close traffic Ray Vista. Yo, flaps are up, carb heats off, go heats off, fuel pump is off. Let's see, 3 3, 21.99 feet. Rio Vista traffic, Cessna 558, turning right crosswind, runway 25, Rio Vista. Okay. Oh, somebody knocked over a taxi light. Present. No, under Rivers the wing here. Down, taxi light. Five five eight. Turning right down. One runway. All right. So we're going to do a short field takeoff, right? Yeah. So twenty five seconds. Twenty two clicks of flaps. They will rotate at fifty two. We break ground. By a VX best rate yep. angle climb, which is sixty three. So and then we when we clear the obstacle, we'll go seventy nine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then you uh, clear of obstacle at hundred feet, and then as you're speeding up. Uh, you go one set of flaps, two set of flaps. Okay. And I would say clear of obstacle. Uh, okay. So he knows you're thinking short field. Okay. Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike taking 3 3 Rio Vista. I don't know if he took off or not. He did. He was taking off right as we uh, were clearing our, or started our roll to taxi. Well, it must have been a straight out. Yeah. It's clear both ways. Revis traffic, Cessna 558 turning right base, runway 25 Revis. Cherokee 
63 Mike taking off 33 Rio Vista. Let's see, not much wind, a little bit from the left. All 52 airspeeds alive. Looking for 52. 50 or 52. We're 100 feet up, clear obstacle. Rio Vista traffic, Cessna 558, turning final, runway 254, full stop, Rio Vista. Let it notch out slowly. And then as you're, here we go. Speed building up. Building. And then your last set of flaps, and then your fly at VY. Flaps are gone. Right. Cherokee 63 Mike, Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike, turning crosswind Rio Vista for 33 Rio Vista. Yeah, talk today. Yeah. He's just about blaring. Like he's taxing off, probably taxing back. Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike, downwind 33 Rio Vista. Rio Vista traffic, Cessna 558, clear runway 25, Rio Vista. There's your wind. <laughs> yeah. Straight up. <laughs> or, a little bit from the. Yeah, a little bit. Not much. Uh, short field is. Actually, is short. <laughs> shorter. Be even shorter with the trees on both ends. So I'll go 1500. One notch. The uh, car PDS required, you yep. need it. It's pushing us. Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike turning base for 33 Rio Vista. And for full stop, when we land, once the, all the wheels are on the ground, you can raise the flaps, that puts more weight on the wheels. Then you do hard braking, but you don't want to do hard braking, otherwise you blow a tire. Yeah. Unless you're desperate. Or you drop your tail hook if you're, you're going to land on a carrier. <laughs> you ever done that? Uh, once. Huh. I wasn't carrier called, but I did it with the, as a co-pilot once. They're all short field. <laughs> hey, that's the shortest you can get. Well, as soon as they touch down, they go full power to catch the hook. Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike, final 33 Rio Vista. Let's say we're looking 65. for what airspeed there? Uh, 65. Or short field, yeah. 
The hardest thing is to... I think I got the tree made. Better just get down. You ever go around or too steep? Yeah, you can go down low or you can play ground effect if you want. Yeah, I want to go around. Yeah. Rio Vista traffic, 6-3, might go in around. 3-3, three, three. Rio Vista. Actually, winds is uh, almost... Five knots from the left. Previous traffic, Cessna 558, taking runway 254, right, downward departure. Look like they're more from the 250 to 330. Oh, looks like I was looking over there, it looks like it's blown now, huh? Uh, 25 would be the preferred runway, but yeah. Still use 33. Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 63, Mike downwind, 33, Rio Vista. How's your fuel doing? Uh, I think we're good. We'll switch uh, when we're on the ground next. Okay. Okay. He's departing down. Crosswind to downwind. Turning right down one runway two five three Vista. It's a lot of fun when there's like three people doing three three and about five or six doing two five. <laughs> Power couldn't handle it. No. If there was a tower here. Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike turning base 33, three, Rio Vista. You can even set yourself up with the final flaps sooner if you want to. Really worried about getting over the tree and getting it all established airspeed and altitude wise. Three of us to traffic, Cessna 558, 1800 over the waterway, turning south, departing the area to the south. Fast call, Rio Vista. Have a good flight. Thank where, you, sir. Where are we you Cherokee 63, Mike turning final, 3-3, three, three, Rio Vista. I'm going to cut it so I don't overdo these houses. Yeah. Uh, 
Right, you got your airspeed, looks good. Now it's just playing with the winds and the, the altitude. Kind of aiming for the end of the white stripes before the 3-3. Three, three. That fucked up. Coming in too high each time. That's better high than too low hitting the tree. Will we be able to stop in time? Oh yeah. Okay, put the flaps up, and then br then you break. Hit it. We'll practice some more of those in time. Unless you want to practice, no, do another one here. Yeah, we can do another one. We're already here. Rear Vista traffic, Cherokee 63, Mike clear 33, Rear Vista. So, oh, how that. My dad just called me and about blew out my ears when I was on final. The ringer should have been off. Oh, he did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the ringer was off, but it still rang. I was like, uh, holy shit. Alright. Pops uh, off, make sure. It Flaps are off, carb heat is off, pitot heat's off, fuel pump off, landing light is required. There's, excuse me, lean, trim is take off. Under is good, full taxi. Ravis, traffic, Cherokee 6 3 Mike, taxi 3 3 on Bravo, Ravis done. Runway looks clear. Left, clear, right. I think I told you one day we're holding short here. A uh, tailwheel with the big fat tires comes in, no radios. I look both ways. He's lined up and he lands, not on the runway, but in the grass. Yeah, in the middle? Yeah, in the middle between the taxiway and the. Uh, and then he taxis across the runway in the grass and he taxis around this way. And it goes parks. Yeah. No radio, nothing. Well, yeah. Well, I guess there's no law against no, it. No, no, but I'm thinking, you know, practicing his soft field landings or whatever. <laughs> right. Go pump on, make sure rich. Those are good. Transponder's good. Flaps are off, car beats off. Rear Vista traffic, Cherokee 6 3 Mike, taking 3 3 Rear Vista. Do a normal takeoff, or you want to do we'll a short field again? Flaps two, two notches. notches. We're looking for a fifty-two. On the green airspeed live, look for yes, fifty-two, fifty-two, fifty-five. I can't read 52. <laughs> A little over the 50 line. And we're at 50, rotating. 100 feet, clear obstacle. Now one notch.
taking out another notch. Rivista traffic check, U63 Mike turning crosswind for 3 3, close traffic, Rivista. Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike, downwind, 33, Rio Vista. We could do another short field, full stop, taxi back, and then take off. We could do 2,500, and or do you want to do some more here, and then head back? Um, either way, whatever you think. And then get some more instrument do. time. Yeah. Do we need uh, soft we field? Get one of those for fun. You want to? Oh, we could do some soft field too if you want. Yeah, let's get the soft field out of the way. We'll do this landing soft field, so we'll just keep the nose wheel up. Yeah, yeah, you try to. Oil on the yoke, it's squeaky. Huh. Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 6 3 Mike, turning base. 3 3 Rio Vista. Let's see what the winds were again. Humidity 5-6%. Density altitude missing. Condensation altitude for 500 feet. Re-Ovis to automated weather observation at 2046 Zulu. Visibility missing. Altimeter 3017. Weather advisories. Wind 19 or 0 at 6 knots. Ah. 190 at 6. Got tailwind. No wonder we had problems. Taking almost glider in. Yeah. Rear Vista traffic. 6 3 Mike on final 3 3. Rear Vista. bit long, probably want to go, go around here. Maybe we do a 2-5, be a lot better. All right. Rear Vista traffic, 6-3 Mike going around. Rear Vista. Where's the winds doing? I don't know. Uh, the winds at Rear Vista about 160 or 190 at 6. Roger, thanks.
Yeah, we'll just do a downwind for 2.5. Be a block better. To give you a little more comfort, too, on a longer runway. To do a soft field. Yeah, it's harder with that tailwind. Yeah. Although the one windsock there at the end uh, still looked like it was west, northwest. Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike, downwind 25, Rio Vista. Climb a bit more though. Real Vista traffic, Archer 341 Tango Alpha is taking 25 for a downwind departure, Real Vista. Vista traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike, base, Rio Vista, uh, 25, Rio Vista. Traffic Cherokee 63 Mike, final 25 Rio Vista. Fucking high today, no matter what I do. <laughs> They're high than low. You can always lose out. To yeah. They glide this one in almost for a soft field. Over this uh, swamp here. Real Vista traffic, Archer 341 Tango Alpha is turning right crosswind for 25, downwind departure, Real Vista. Uh, this windsock looks a little bit from the left, not much though. But you're aiming for, well, this isn't a short field, you're just, again, aiming for the first third. And then in the flare, you just add a touch of power without even thinking about it. They can try and hold the nose up off. Now keep coming. coming down? Keep coming. Yeah, keep coming down. Oh, yeah. you're talking about it once I'm down. Yeah, once you're down. Uh, just uh, try not to land. And just Real Vista traffic, car trust 34, we're taking out a little power. power. Right down the wind, uh, 65. Yeah, yeah, that one like, Real Vista. like that? Yeah, there you are. Just like that. A little right rudder there. Just a little power. It's just to keep your nose uh -huh. off. Kind of like so. And you'd be kind of taxing, like, right back. Try to keep the nose out of the dirt. Uh, you can even go to the end if you want. Of course, you wouldn't have a tower, and you'd be just trying to... Keep as much weight off the wheels as possible, especially the nose. But safely. <laughs> yeah. Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 6 3 might clear 2 5, Rio Vista.
You want to switch the fuel tanks? I don't yeah. Know. Going for about 45 minutes, seems longer. Alright, flaps are up, carb heat is off. Pito off, fuel pump yeah, is off. Uh, mixture, our mixture is lean. Just clean your engine a little bit. Okay, good. Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 6 3 Mike Taxi and 2 5 on Alpha. Rio Vista. So you needed more instrument time too, huh? Yeah, I had 0.8 hours to start with before we started today. It's clear. Take the long way back. There's the runway, uh, Windsock. I don't know if that's out of the west or south. West. Pitching around. Looking at the flags. Uh, shifting winds, does that mean weather coming in? <laughs> Rain tonight, maybe? Maybe, it said it was going to be clear tomorrow. I look at that wind sock versus that wind sock. Gas hangar is that just like a public hangar? Or? I don't know. I think the Air Force. I know the Air Force Flying Club's in there. Oh. Those are a couple of the airplanes, Aero and uh, Cessna. I think they have a couple. What is apron? Is that just like? There's an apron area just for parking. Oh, okay. Helicopter like pad over apartment. here. An H helicopter pad. A big H on it. Almost fit two in there. Three. If you parked them in each corner, you could fit four. <laughs> yeah. All right. Bump on. Do you want to uh, take off and then uh, go to 2500? And go back, or you want to do some more landings here? Yeah, let's uh, get more instrument time in. Okay. And then, because uh, we already did the short field and the soft field landings. Okay. So we'll do, uh, let's burn some instrument hours. Okay, we climb up, we'll do 2,500, and we'll do something real. We'll just ask him if, nor uh, we'll ask uh, um, Travis if we can do the 2,500 here and do that. Okay. Give you a little realism. And also, more realistic than... How do we ask for that? Oh, I'll just ask for okay. NorCal. I mean, uh, Travis. Right, engine gauges are good. Carb heat's off. Mixture is set full rich. Flaps are set. Landing light. We don't need... Probe lights are on. Let's check. Zero, six, five. Doors and windows latched. 24-7 here. Let's see if we can get Ada set Alright, ready? Yeah. Yep. No problem. You can fly with the door open, it's just a, more of a distraction. Okay. Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 2863 Mike taking 25 Rio Vista. All in the green, airspeed's live, looking for 65. That wing shows right down the runway. 
That's what that one was showing too. If I ever rotate. Time to two five hundred. Yeah, twenty five hundred. at the bottom on Skaggs Island. And this one would be... And that's up. on uh, Concord. On 190. Yeah. 191, if you want to be exact. Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike departing in the area. Last call, Rio Vista. And you can make a right turn here if you want. We'll just... Okay. Up to like 2,000 or 2,500. They'll probably let us do it at 2,000. On uh, Travis, you want me to contact him? Uh, well, we can wait. We'll try and get. Uh, and visibility one zero. That's the problem. You get too low, you can't get ATIS. Too low, you can't get the ATIS. And then they go, Do you have ADIS, uh, information, Zulu or Alpha? Oh, we'll get it. So you put your approach plate here, or you put your uh, okay. um, iPad there. Our <laughs> claim is the 2000. Want me to put on the goggles? Oh, uh, yeah, we'll just uh, see if we can get this stuck on ATIS here. On initial contact, give information Zulu. It is Zulu. Talk down information Zulu, time at 2052 Zulu, wind 2107, visibility 10, scattered at 3400, scattered at 8000, temperature 21, 2.11, altimeter 3016, our now GPS, from a one in the right approaching you, landing departing your mic one niner. Notice Sam and Texas Bravo closed, but you're one in the right and text by Mike. Uh, this weather information is in effect for California and coastal waters. For further information, for you. contact Kylos or flight service frequencies. Use caution for birds in the vicinity of Concord Airport. Advise on initial contact. Give information to Zulu. There's Zulu. There we go. Back down. Do you want me to say it? Go to 2500 or 2000? Uh, yeah, go 2500. We'll do this as real as possible. Okay. Here's Skaggs Island, so uh, there's AF2, of course we'd have to hopefully get that in. Let me ask him here. Uh, Travis Approach, uh, a Warrior 2863 Mike request. 
Boyer 2863 Mike, Travis Approach, the Travis Altimeter is 3014, IDENT, State Destination Airport. Roger, IDENT, uh, 63 Mike. We have uh, information that Zulu would like to pick up the VOR 19 uh, right to uh, uh, Concord. 4263 Mike, radar contact, uh, 7 miles northeast, Travis Airport, maintained VFR, practice approach approved, no separation services provided. Report established on a same of the VOR approach course. Uh, 63 Mike, Roger. Report established on the VOR course. Sort of idea. 63 Mike, verify full stop. Uh, it's affirmative. 63 Mike. Thank you, sir. Over 782 Whiskey Whiskey. Contact uh, Travis Approach. Oh, let's see. VOR there. Okay, so do I. I'm going to put on the goggles if you want to take that plane first. Right? Yeah, I got the aircraft. On. Number 63 Mike, clock 5251, 5251. 5251, 63 Mike. Uh, you have the aircraft? I have the aircraft. Let's see how this works here. So I should be making a left turn to that v, uh, VR, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. So make a left here. Yeah, you're going to make a little bit more here. Kind of turn sharper? Yeah, sharper. We need about a 210 course. Okay. Number 60, Mike, were you looking for radar vectors here, approach, or you want to do that under your own navigation? Uh, we'll take a vector, 60, Mike. Number 60, Mike, roger, uh, turn left hitting uh, 200 initial vectors for the VOR approach course. Uh, 200 for uh, VOR course, 60, Mike. Uh, so about 200 will help you intercept the 254 over to... That way we'll stay from the... <laughs> Out of their traffic pattern at Travis. So a two zero zero will help yep. us intercept. There's two. We probably can't get because Skaggs Island is the other side of the um, Napa the hills. Probably in the way there. At least I'm not picking it up. Okay, so I'm gonna. I'm at two zero zero right now. We'll watch this to intercept. Yeah. If you had your GPS, you could do a GPS approach, but... Come in better there? It is 12-2. 12-1, I mean. This one doesn't come in, and we intercept the 191 over the bay. 703 Tango off of traffic, uh, northeast two miles, maneuvering altitude indicates 2000. Look at 3000. Yeah, so we have to stay at 2500 yeah. to intercept the 191. Then you can come down to yeah, Gusty. To, uh, 1100 to the VOR, basically. So if I happen to pop up like that during the test above the 100, then I fail? Oh, if you're your instrument, maybe. Oh, <laughs> but not for the VOR one? No. But I, mean, uh, the, I mean, not the VOR uh, private pilot? Oh, you're not going to do this private pilot. Oh, but this but is I more mean, realistic. If he, if he tells me 2,000, stay at 2,500, and then a gust takes me up, uh, my, do I fail? Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, I don't think... It's not to make you an instrument, it's just to give you a feel that, give you build confidence. I heard something about you have plus or minus 110 degrees or something. Yeah, uh, visual stuff. Uh, he'll want you to be pretty good on instruments, but it's not a, you're not as tough for that. Mostly just trying to track a VOR and, uh, Make a, a standard rate turn under instruments, and that's about it. Unusual attitudes, too. Nose high for stall, so and nose off low for speed. Uh, northeast, two miles, maneuvering out to in case three thousand. Look at three thousand alpha.
Uh, Skaggs Island, I never did get an ident. Well, that works for your VOR, works for the Concord VOR. Does it work for Skaggs Island? Oh, there you go. You're basically on it. I don't think your VOR2 works. works. And the Not that it matters. Seminole 3 Tango off at traffic uh, east, four miles, maneuvering out to indicate 3,000 anyway, meters climbing. He's giving us a vector to the 191 final, essentially. Chevrolet for you, Seminole 3 Tango Alpha request. Seminole 3 Tango Alpha, say request. Request on NAF approach from Rejoy and uh, Panana Air Force South to the Gulf. Terminal 633 Tengwa maintain VFR project approach approved, no separation services provided. Report established segment RNAV approach course. Report is approved in VFR and the report established to the Gulf. Maybe this one's a weaker VOR. Seems to be slowly coming in. I just didn't get an ident on it on VOR2. VOR1 came in nice. Number six, we might turn the right to two zero. Uh, right to two two zero, uh, six three, Mike. <laughs> I guess he shows us on. Uh, Actually, he's giving us vectors to the 191 radial. Uh, actually, the 011 radial. The 191 inbound. this count as a practice approach? Uh, yeah. It's more realistic than uh, doing other stuff, <laughs> if you ask me. Yeah, I agree. Bum, bum. be neat if it was raining or it was a 900 foot overcast and you can't see a thing. <laughs> it wouldn't you, be legal. <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't be legal. But we'd be under radar control with these guys. Yeah. The others are just about on 254, but he's vectoring us to the, essentially the 191 inbound course. Previous for you, Seminole 633 Tango Alpha, a stop reach on NAF approach. Seminole 3 Tango Alpha, roger. Seminole 3 Tango Alpha, maintain a slowest practical speed for sequencing into uh, Concord Airport. I have another aircraft in front of you on the VR approach course. Uh, currently, is ground speed indicate 0, 9, or 0 knots. Maintain frequency, uh, 3 Tango Alpha. If we were going to do timing here, it would be about 90 ground Maybe speed. 40, 70, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. Two minutes and 80 seconds. Taking an instruction. From some point. From the VOR. Okay. That's the final approach oh, okay. fix. Oh, it's FAF. 
No, keep 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 this heading. This so uh, this is very set, getting a little more sensitive. That well, I was all. going uh, the heading he told us. Oh yeah. November three Tango Alpha. Expect extended vectors for the unnavigable approach go, due to go. sequencing. Three Tango Alpha. Of course, we'd have fuel pump off and... November 63 Mike, 7 miles from the final approach fix, turn left heading 210, maintain 2000, to establish some final, cleared the order, remember 190 approach. Uh, 200 heading, uh, maintain uh, 2000, clear for VOR, uh, 19 right approach, 60 Mike. It's a 210. Uh, November 3 Tango Alpha, turn left heading 180. 200? Yeah, 200. Uh, uh, 210, uh, I mean, 200, and down to 2000, he cleared you down to 2000 there. So we can do fuel pump on, lights on, mixture rich. That's pretty much the descent check for you. You see, we're just coming in. Now you can intercept the 191, knowing the winds are coming from the right probably a little bit. There you go. And now this one, let's see what's that uh, reciprocal of that. Trivia uh, support, 267. November 3, Tango Alpha, say again. Yes, I got it, 2,000. I've already passed through it. So we go down to 2,000. He says... November 3, Tango Alpha, say again. We go down to 1,100. Now that we're on it, we're past the four mile. Do we wait for him to tell us that? No, no. He cleared us for the approach, so we can do... We go down to 1,100. He did this question, 3, Tango Alpha. Yeah, we're not going to do a misapproach, but the mis if we had to, it would be a, a, in a November 3, Tango Alpha, far. turn right heading 290. Turn right heading 290, 3 Tango climbing right turn, 3000, direct to the right. VOR. Radio service terminate, contact, contact, tower. Uh, 6 feet by switching tower. I'll let you do radio since I don't know what to say. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I'll give him. Oh, okay. Uh, Conquer Tower, uh, Warrior two three two eight six three Mike. We're about uh, three miles from the VOR for practice VOR. Warrior 2863 Mike, Conquer Tower, report the final approach fix. Verify this will be a full stop. A full stop, uh, 63 Mike, that's firm. 63 Mike, Roger, and where do you park? Uh, Sterling, and we have Zulu, 63 Mike. Roger. Well, that should be East Ramp, 63 Mike. Yeah. <laughs> East Ramp, Roger, 63 Mike. I'm so used to that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Alright, so I'm at 1100. There's 1100, so. Then you basically fly, uh, Cocker Tower, the 90 the there. 90, what do you mean? Uh, heading? 90 knots. Victor. Oh. Uh, 90 knots for your, if you were going to time. RV 67 Charlie Victor, Cocker Tower. 1100 feet. Yes, sir, just for, uh, just for situational awareness, we are at 5,500 feet, 8 miles east of the VOR. A little bit closer, a little bit to the left here. Yeah. VOR tracking at the, at 5,000 feet. Turn a little bit left here. We want to cheat the VORs over here. here. I don't have anybody that high north of the Well, field. so how do I know uh, when to turn on that final? Traffic, 10 miles uh, out. Uh, you, you just keep it centered, so you need a little bit more left turn here. Well, I know, but what I was saying oh, is, good. when we switch the tower, how do I know when to turn onto this? Oh, you, when he clears you for the approach, you follow the, oh, okay, the, gotcha. the uh, approach uh, course. I'm sorry, 191 there. You kind of cheat and look and see. Uh, it gets real sensitive as you get close to the VOR. I can see kind of how it's coming in, almost directly straight down 19 right. This 19 right is the one that has the approach lights that would be flashing, right. the rabbits and all that, so you can see it, especially in the, in the, in the clouds as you break out. We're back to 1100. We're turning on the course with the VOR. 
that the VOR is right about under us here, or we'll just come right on top of it. It's real sensitive as you Conquer get closer. Tower, set the 733 Whiskey Whiskey, holding short of one niner left, would like a right downward departure. That's the 733 Whiskey Whiskey, Conquer Tower, right downwind departure approved, runway 19 right. Correction, runway 19 left, clear for takeoff. Now this thing is going to start to waver. Okay, now what do I do now? 19 left, and just keep clear for takeoff. Keep, we're getting close, so you don't want to make big corrections here. No. Now you've slowed down to 180, I mean uh, 180, <laughs> uh, 90, and you, uh, you can start printing out your flaps and your gear. Should I take off the goggles now? Yeah, you can take them off. And so that just, that would this put me, this doesn't look like it's putting me into the Now runway. time, twist, 172. Turn, transition, okay, now so you can go down to uh, 640. Are we clear to land? Uh, yeah, I'll get it here. Seminole 643 saying you're off a conquer tower, report the final approach fix. But, so this gets real sensitive when you're over the VOR here, that's why you don't want to chase it when you get close. So do I need to go right? Because the runway's there. Yeah, we're, no, we're doing okay. Uh, tower 63 Mike uh, over the VOR. 463 Mike, runway 19 right, clear to land. 19 right, clear to land, 63 Mike. It would be better if you had DME, then you just uh, measuring equipment or GPS, then you could tell how far you are so you don't chase it as much. It's really hard to do without the. Uh, but you didn't intercept the 172 in. And hopefully at 640 you'd see the runway. Oh, we got the check of descent complete. We're yeah, pretty much yeah, we already set up runway in sight. Conquer Tower, Seminole, 633, take off, uh, over final 50. And Conquer Tower, 3 down Gulf, if possible, we would like to have the option and uh, go ahead, cross traffic for one touch and go. Seminole 3, take off, Roger, runway 19 right, cleared for the option, then make right close traffic. Oh, yeah, right, your boss, you may right close traffic, 3 take off. Mike, left turn Kilo, cross runway 19 or left, then contact ground. Making left on Kilo, crossing 19 left and contact to ground. Yep, looks clear both ways. Warrior 63 Mike, pass behind the Cessna northbound on Alpha. Roger. You want us to still cross this? Oh yeah, we can okay. still cross, we just, just, just want you to cut them off. <laughs> You'd have to go max power to yeah. cut them off. Like they don't, if they don't control you, they believe you're going to hit them. <laughs> you know, it's like, come on. Well, the defense would be, well, he didn't tell me to. Why'd you run into him? Did you see him? Okay, radio. Flaps are up, carb heat's off, pedo heat's off, fuel pump is off, landing light is off. Stairs leaned, trim set is a 
takeoff and transponder is cool. All right. Pocket ground check, E six three Mike on Juliet. Juliet at Alpha, clear of one nine left. Taxi to the east ramp. Cherokee six three Mike, Pocket ground. Taxi to the east ramp via Juliet. East ramp via Juliet six three Mike. I wonder if this avionic switch is uh, based on that. On what? No, this turns off everything. Oh, that turns off everything. Yeah, that's like the master power oh. for that. But I got I got no idea on these. Uh, maybe it's 17 zero. Let's see. I'm just curious here. I get an idea on this one, but not on this one. Hmm. Huh. Who knows? Look at it. Good ground, Coyote two one one Tango Delta at P. It looked like it was pointing. Yeah, really. But with information, Jalu. Skyhawk 211 Tango Delta, Concord Ground, runway 19 or less, taxi via Foxtrot Alpha, cross runway 32. The GPS approach, approach is a lot easier to do here. Runway 19 or left, taxi via Foxtrot Alpha, cross runway 32 left, approach runway 32 right, 1 Tango Delta. I just want this is more realistic than yeah. boring holes in the sky. Of course, the only thing he wants you to know how to boring is, holes in the sky. is track uh, IFR on that. on the right. No dogs, no kids, no cars. I saw a little kid over there earlier. There was two or three of them running around screaming like little banshees. <laughs> That's where the mom says, well, you take him to, you want to go to the airport? You take him too. <laughs> exactly. Shut down avionics off.